In this lesson, we're going to find the volume of the solid attained by rotating the region that you see there about the y-axis. Okay, so we have the region defined by y squared equals to 2x, okay, which is, which is this uh, sideward parabola. And we also have uh, x equals to 2y. Okay, so we're going to use we're going to use the shell method to find the volume of this. Okay, so so the shell method is right. You have the volume equals to two pi times the integral going from some lower bound to upper bound. Um, in this case, since we're going around the y-axis, okay, then the represented piece is going to be vertical. Right, it has to be. It has to be parallel to the axis of revolution. So that means the integral has to be in terms of x. Okay. All right. So we're going to have, we need to know the, the height of that represented piece and the radius for that volume. Okay. Okay. For the, 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 the radius for that, um, the radius of that volume, which court, which is basically the, uh, the difference between the where the represented piece is and the axis of revolution okay and that's going to be just x okay okay so that's from here to here okay and the height okay the height of this is just the difference between the two curves Okay, so since we're, 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 we want this in terms of x, okay, so this is, from this part, this is going to be y equals to square root of 2x, okay, and then over here, for the other part, this is going to be y equals to 1 half x, okay, so we do the, the height of that represented piece will be top minus bottom. Okay. So h of x is going to equal square root of 2x minus 1 half x. Okay, so we have all the components now. Um, and the bounds, the bounds are going to go from 0, so it's going from 0 to 8. Okay. All right. And we can actually solve those algebraically. Um, so let's do that just to confirm it. Let's see. So for the bounds, so we know that y, y squared equals to 2x and x equals 2y. So what we can do is we can go ahead and set these two functions equal to each other. So square of 2x equals 2 1 half x. So we square both sides. So we're going to get 2x equals to 1 fourth x squared. Okay. So that means we have 2x minus 1 fourth x squared equals to 0. So we can factor out x here. So that's going to leave us with 2 minus 1 fourth x. So one of them Right, so you have x equal to 0 and 2 minus 1 fourth x equal to 0. So that means we're going to get minus 1 fourth x equals to minus 2. Therefore, x is going to be 8. So there's our bounds. It's going from 0 to 8. Okay, so now we have the integral, or is it 2 pi times the integral going from 0 to 8. h of x. Okay, which is square root of 2x, okay, minus 1 half x, and then times p of x. Remember, p of x is the radius. It's the radius that's changing, right, that's in terms of, right, in terms of your y. So in this case, it's going to be x. Okay, so it's just the distance between the represented piece and the axis of revolution. So if you 
right? So if you look at this picture down in the lower right hand corner, that's the volume that's being generated, okay? All right, so the vol so the radius I'm talking about is is going to be somewhere here, okay, like this. So it changes as we go from from top to bottom, okay. All right, so now uh, we can go ahead and simplify this. Take the integral, okay. So we're going to get so this will be square root. Okay, so square root of 2x times x will give us square root of 2 times x to the 3 halves minus 1 half x squared dx. Okay. Alright, so let's go down here. So we're going to get 0 to 8. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and integrate this. So that's going to give us, uh, so we're, we're going to get, using the power rule, we're going to get square root of 2 times x. We add 1 to 3 halves. That's going to give us 5 halves divided by 5 halves. And then the integral of 1 half x squared is just going to be uh, 1 half times x cubed over 3. Right, from 0 to 8. Okay. All right. So this is going to give us, let's see, simplifying this, this will be 2 square root of 2 over 5 x to the 5 halves minus 1 6 x cubed from 0 to 8. Okay. All right, so go ahead and plug these, uh, plugging in our bounds. We're going to get 8 to 5 halves minus 1 6 times 8 cubed. Okay. All right. So a little bit of algebra here. So 8 to the 5 halves. Okay, so we need to simplify this. So 8 to the 5 halves. It's going to, that's the same thing as 8, uh, sorry, square root of 8 to the power 2, or to the power 5. Oops. Okay, and that's the same as 2 root 2, right, to the power 5. So you can write square root of 8 as 2 times root 2. And then that's going to give us 2 to the 5th times root 2 to the 5th. Okay. All right. So plugging all that back into here, okay, we have 2 root 2 over 5 times uh, 2 to the 5th is just 32. Okay. So we're going to get 32 times square root 2 to the fifth minus 8 cubed over 6 which is 512 8 cubed is 512 okay so then all right so we have so we have square root 2 times square root 2 to the fifth so we can put those together so we're going to get um Let's see, 2, so 2 times 32, and then square root 2 to the 6 over 5, minus 512 over 6. Okay. All right, so square root 2 to the 6, okay, that's the same thing as 2 to the power 1 half to the power 6, which is 2 cubed, and that's equal to 8. So it's going to be 2 times 32 times 8 over 5, minus 512 over 6. Okay. 
So then, okay, we're going to get, all right, so this is going to simplify to 2 pi over uh, 512 over 5 minus 512 over 6, okay. All right, so that's going to simplify to give us 2 pi. So I'm going to multiply 512 over 5 by 6. Okay, that's going to give us 3072 over 30. And then multiply 512 over 6 by 5. So that's going to give us 2560 over 30. And then that's going to leave us with 2 pi times taking the difference. That's going to give us 512 over 15. And then that's going to give us 512 over, uh, actually, 512 over 30. So that's going to give us 512 over 15 pi. Okay. So that is the uh, solution. That's the volume of our structure here. Okay. And this is, keep in mind that this was for some application problem. This would be in terms of units cubed. Okay.